This is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato. On May 11th, President Trump signed an executive order creating an advisory commission to collect information and investigate voter registration and fraud. This made good on a promise he made when he claimed millions of illegal votes were cast in the 2016 election. Amazingly, he also said not a single one was for him. With all due respect to the office of the president, this claim is simply not true. There is no evidence of widespread voter fraud, a fact supported by hard data, state election commissioners, even lawyers who represented the then president-elect during recounts. Ditto in Florida, Sarasota, and Manatee counties. No proof of fraud. On June 28th, a letter was sent to every Secretary of State in the nation requesting an unprecedented amount of personal and voting information. By way of constitutional background, states, not the federal government, are responsible for supervising both voter registration and the integrity of the elections. Our founding fathers wisely recognized it's a lot harder to fix an election that is controlled by many independent states with elected leaders than one run by a centralized branch of the federal government. Reaction to the letter has been swift and strong. Many states have refused outright, and most, like Florida, will only partially comply. So what's the bottom line? You're going to be seeing a lot of smoke coming out of Washington stating they are only asking for information that is already legally available to the public. Do not be fooled. While technically true, this is a diversion. The real issues are it violates our privacy, it undermines states' rights, and it will discourage minor minority voter turnout. Efforts to protect the integrity of our elections should be focused on Russian and Chinese cyber attacks not well-intentioned senior citizens who forgot they registered in more than one state, or legal immigrants who came to America seeking freedom from dictators who control the ballot boxes and punish people who don't vote for them. I'm Steve Sabato, and we'd like to hear from you. The opinions expressed in this editorial do not necessarily reflect those of ABC7's owners or management. If you would like to comment, go to our website, www.mysuncoast.com, and click Community.